අපි පිටිකරණේ දී පොඩි වැරදි වගයක් කරා විශේෂයෙන් කිව්වොත් මුල් පෙළ පිටිකරුවන්ගෙන් අපිට මීට වැඩිය සහයක් ලැබෙන්න තිබ්බ කියලා මම හිතුවා නමුත් පසු පෙළ පිටිකරුවන්ගෙන් හොඳ කම්බැක් එකක් දීලා මම හිතනවා හොඳ තරංග එකට ගිනාව කියලා නමුත් අවසනවන්තයට අපිට ඒක ඉවර කර ගන්න බැරි වුණා ඊළඟ තරගයේ අපි මේ මේ තරගයේ කරපු වැරදි ටික කතා කරගෙන මීට වැඩිය හොඳ ක්‍රීඩාවක් මීට වැඩිය හොඳ ගේම් එකක් ඉස්සරහට ගේන්න වෙනවා මොකද ඉන්දියා වගේ කණ්ඩායමක් එක සෙල්ලම් කරනකොට අපි දන්නවා ඒගොල්ලෝ කොහෙද ඉන්නේ කියලා ඉතින් අපි අපේ උපරිම අපේ හොඳම ක්‍රිකට් එක ඉස්සරහට ගෙන ක්‍රීඩා කරොත් පමණයි අපිට තරගයක් ජයග්‍රහණය කරන්න වෙන්නේ well uh, i wouldn't say that i think uh, i think the pass go in this ground uh, batting first is somewhere around 170 180 so i thought the bowlers although they started uh, with a shocker i think they came back well as a bowling unit and restricted uh, india to 162 which is a good effort and uh, i think uh, the score was gettable it was uh, the batting you need uh, need to take responsibility that uh, they need to get this uh, score exactly yeah every time uh, there are so many positives to take back i think uh, even with the bowling i think uh, the youngsters who are playing in the formative years of their careers uh, uh, this experience will go a long way for them and i i believe that uh, they will learn every game and move forward and they'll only get better and uh, batting wise also i think uh, we've got a lot of learnings there to take with us uh, for the next game yes uh, i am the wicket coach i just wanted to ask you about how you stand sadhi on our squad this squad they had a very good and they were both on the for the same team so how would you assess where they are because i'm sure how they see coming back from an injury where they are at right now and if they have any chance of future in the next two games uh obviously uh, i think the selectors must be thinking about it now because uh, these two boys have done really well in the lpl and uh, avishka of course uh, uh, has been doing well before he got injured and sadhir has been doing well in the sri lanka a team for a while now so obviously those two are in line that's the reason why they are with the squad um i'm sure they'll get an opportunity to play somewhere down the line and i'm sure uh, the selectors will think about it to to make way yeah, yeah so based on the batting there were quite a lot of areas where you felt you could have improved so what do you feel was the turning point in the run chase was it last was wicket or was it a little earlier where you lost a couple of wickets in field success Yeah I think it was one into uh, one into and Dasun when they batted uh, it looked like you know we needed a bit of a partnership from them to take it a little bit longer but uh, when one into got out and then eventually Dasun got out it left Chamika on his own to do the job but uh, from where we were I think hats off to those three to taking a close game uh, and bringing the game that far Yes I sir even more about injuries that you had uh, in Australia during the World Cup. Uh, it was said that uh, you will, after the World Cup, success as to what exactly you have with the injuries and uh, then you have a clear idea as to what went wrong. Do you have sort of uh, assessed as to what happened with the injuries? Uh, well, uh, most of the injuries uh, that happened were, were soft tissue injuries like hamstring and things like that. And, uh, I believe uh, some of them were due to uh, to soft ground conditions that we played in Geelong and uh, and obviously the training program uh, has been altered and and uh, and we are thinking about uh, having new uh, fitness protocols to to alter that to to counter that 
and uh, i'm sure uh, it's going to going to be uh, successful and we are we are going to sort of counter uh, the soft tissue injuries that we had in the past with that yes last question coach uh, in the nina van slam that cricket is a norm especially in the cricket sorry when when slam and cricket is the norm when it comes to the cricket especially How challenging is it for you to actually make batters realize that for a relatively uh, smaller target, you don't really have to go so hard right from the word go, especially to top four or five. Like, there is a phase in which you need to where you can actually take your time and then reassess the situation. How challenging is it from a coaching perspective? well uh, i think it's all about gaining momentum in t20 cricket and also uh, you know finding the balance of uh, when to attack and and when to knock the singles off uh, it's a it's a bit challenging because uh, sometimes uh, players tend to to waste a lot of balls too many dot balls and find themselves in a situation where you're far behind the asking rate so uh, so so the easiest way Uh, to play T20 cricket is to be positive and to look at uh, to play aggressive cricket and whenever the opportunities is arise uh, to go for it and uh, whenever there is a low score most of the time there is a reason behind it uh, maybe maybe the condition of the ground or the condition of the wicket and uh, and the batsman will will have that challenge to counter that and play accordingly according to the ground conditions so uh, it's a pretty challenging task to uh, to find that the right balance between attack and uh, being defensive but uh, i guess t20 cricket is about uh, being aggressive being positive i we always encourage our boys to to do the same and uh, if you be positive and if you be aggressive i'm sure the results are going to be on our side uh, more often than not thank you sir Thank you. Thanks.